Welcome to Thermo Fisher Scientific Pleasanton. This was one of the first Leeds Silver buildings certified in the country. We are a biotech facility here in Pleasanton. We provide products that are used for research and uh, genetic development. Our location is off in a very kind of a rural setting, over 89 acres, a very large facility, comprised of four buildings, beautiful campus, uh, lots of wildlife, uh, sunny skies, uh, employees love coming to work here. You can see our light louvers on our building and the solar panels on the roof. It's really sunny out here in Pleasanton. We make very, very large amounts of very, very small pieces of DNA. We are effectively 24-7. We are a DNA factory. And we have a very committed workforce to you know, overall uh, sustainability and, and corporate stewardship. These are our electric car charging stations. And as you can see, they're often in high demand. Our R&D teams went back and looked at how do we design for the environment? How do we design for sustainability? Before, we shipped most of our product on dry ice. It shrunk the amount of dry ice that we're shipping around the world. It was hundreds of tons of dry ice that we were shipping our products on. After, we don't have to use the dry ice or the styrofoam anymore. Here's our Bloom Energy fuel cell, powered by natural gas and supplies about 95% of our energy needs. In terms of cost savings, our fuel cells have resulted in cost reductions of over half a million dollars per year in our utility bills. We've gone to bulk solvent delivery of many of our chemicals here in order to minimize waste with one-time use containers, and it's also been more efficient in terms of delivery to the labs and also is more cost-effective for the company. We set about analyzing exactly what we were putting into landfill, and then by 2012, we had improved so much that we were at near 96% waste diversion, and we continue to improve. In this lab, we have lab organic to be composted, lab plastic recycle, and we still have the option for landfill. It's labeled landfill to emphasize the consequences. One of the biggest waste streams we saw in 2011 were just tons and tons of disposable gloves. We were disposing of about three tons of gloves. Now that's a lot. We thought, oh gosh, this is essentially plastic. Why are we not recycling them? So we approached Kimberly Clark and asked them about creating a take back program. It's allowed us now at this point, we are diverting about six tons of gloves a year from this side alone. And basically the gloves and also their disposable garments get uh, transmitted into pellets that are then used to add recyclable content to new items like say for example plastic lumber or furniture. It's very exciting to share our best practices. That's how we really show our sustainability leadership. Everyone here in Pleasanton is committed to the triple bottom line. We're engaged in the community, environmental issues, here at Thermo Fisher Scientific, sustainability enters into everything we do.